up next, Literacy Week at Holy Family Elementary in Paradise. Now, one of their events this week included inviting members of the community into the school to read to the students. That's where I had the absolute pleasure of reading to Madame Moore's grade three class. Take a look at this. So they began flying back and forth between both sides of the lunchroom. They stuck to the walls, they stuck to the ceiling, they stuck to the lunch lady. <laughs> when the sandwiches were all gone, pudding cups and applesauce and carrot sticks took flight. Can you imagine all the mess? Ew. Ew. <laughs> Selma and Lily looked at one another from across the rowdy, splattered room. I like that they try at the end they tried each other's sandwiches and they became friends again after they weren't friends and they had a day where they tried different sandwiches from all over the world. Some series of books, they start like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And they just have like, they start from the ending of the other book. I enjoy the most in books that there's always a good ending and the beginning's always telling you something that starts from, like it will, the ending will connect to the beginning from what happened. Today is our really special day in the middle of the week, so today we have our guest readers. So we've had people from the community who come in to read with our children, uh, RCMP officers, politicians, district personnel, celebrities like yourself, um, who come in, and it's so nice for the children uh, to have somebody, from, you know, other than just their teachers, to come in to show the importance of reading and the power of reading. And uh, I know you just read the sandwich swap with the, the class right here and you can see that we can ask the children you know to, about fairness and about being a good friend and and you know being accepting but something like a powerful story like that makes it so much more real to them so sharing books like that is is what today is all about for sure uh, and of course we'll have um, some board games about literacy tomorrow and then Friday is uh, flashlight Friday and uh, when children get to uh, you know uh, sort of hide away with the book of their choice with a little flashlight just for short periods of time and, and have a little read so it's all about celebrating the power of books the power of visuals, whatever we make meaning of. Salma grinned. Sure, why not? Would you like to try my hummus and pita? Lily laughed. I like that. What do you think is the absolute importance of marking this particular week? Uh, well, literacy, of course, you know, is so important. Basic literacy skills early in life, of course. Uh, you know, we, as we get older, we have to read texts in, in every different form of life. Uh, so to have a week that in particular celebrates the power of books, the power of different visuals, how we make meaning of the world, shows children, I suppose, how important that is, not just to them, but to us as well as readers. Very important that that be modeled and shown to them. Yeah. Do you find that every year while celebrating Literacy Week that you have to be um, creative in, in terms of capturing their attention? Or do you find it's not really hard uh, to really have to capture their attention when it comes to reading? Um, well, I don't think... Or literacy. I guess, yeah, I don't think that the magic of books will ever be lost. Now, of course, you might find some on their iPad reading their book, and, uh, you know, some will have their, their book inventories kept on uh, within the iPad, and they'll go in and pick the one they're going to read today. Um, some really enjoy text that are, are more visual and, and art-based, etc. But I think the power of a good book is still something that, that children and all of us, I hope, uh, are, really, are really enthralled by. Literacy is important, is important for your reading, and it's important for you to write. And like visual literacy is when you look at a picture and you just write about it and that's like making your learning pro like making progress with your learning mm -hmm. and what part of literacy do you enjoy because we talked about you said you know there's visual literacy you can you can read what is your favorite playing board games with my mom and dad and I let it's not really a board game but it's called speak out it's where you put these things in your mouth and then it like splits your mouth apart and you have to try to say 
the things that are on the card. So that's reading, and you have to try to say it as well. And it's really funny. On the count of three. Okay. On the count of three. So let's do it. One, two, three. So tell me why you think celebrating and marking Literacy Week is so important. I think literacy is important because it's good for spending time with family and friends. And what do you enjoy most about it? I enjoy mostly either playing board games, like Charlie said, or I also like writing down things with my teacher in school. And why do you think literacy is very important, whether it's playing board games, uh, you know, visual literacy, reading, writing? It's so it can help you learn and become more smarter. So what did you think about uh, the book that we read together today? I think it was really good. And why is that? Because I, my favorite part was definitely when there was a food fight. It was very surprising. Our response for uh, people coming in to read uh, with our children uh, this week has been fantastic. The children have really been enjoying the different activities. Our literacy committee did a fantastic job preparing everything because there's a lot of, you know, before work, etc. But I must say it's, it's been a wonderful week and we look forward to uh, right up until Friday for that celebration.